Retweet that. To uh, tweet it out? Uh, it's, it's supposed to go as part of the treat. Oh, and everyone's jumping in. There we go. Hello, everyone. Oh, look, I'm watching myself I'm on Periscope. You're watching yourself on Periscope? Yeah, Internet's weird. Right now. That's disturbing. Weird. That's weird. I'm watching myself live. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the evening's impromptu kind of brief hangout and uh, Christmas chaos. So, yeah, not Christmas, not Christmas. My phone likes to autocorrect anything I try and post, period. So, there's that. Whoa, we already have like 800 people in here. Whoa. What the hell? Wow. This is crazy. Yeah, I got a haircut. Uh, I got a cut again, actually, from last week, because the haircut I got a couple weeks ago was, wasn't All quite right, what I want. Snacks. Wasn't quite what I wanted. Marisha threw, threw snacks at me. Um, so I cut it a little shorter and got it more to what I wanted. It happens uh, every now and then. I like it longer still, but you know, you gotta trim it to let it get longer. So, thank you. And hello, hello from, to Chile. We have, we have over a thousand people watching right now. This is crazy. What the shit? <laughs> Wow, that's nuts. Oh, hello from Mexico. Uh, oh, from uh, Nagoya, J Japan. Here, let's pass it around. Easy high for me. Say hi. 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 I got a knife. Oh, God. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> let's open some packages, shall we? Sure, Here sure. Uh, Rich, you want to go to start? Yeah, well, here, here's a few honorable mentions for when Liam went and did a run. Yeah, Liam, him up. Liam went ahead and did a run uh, and is delivering the rest of the gifts to the other members of the team this Thursday at the studio. Um, but we got this awesome... Uh, Old D8? Yeah, D8 pillow with a bunch of the character faces on them, which is fantastic. I'm not entirely sure who sent that exactly. I'll try and figure it out as we go along. Yeah, if you're watching and you sent this, or uh, please tweet us and let us know. Um, it's fantastic. Yeah. And I'm on there with a blindfold, which is awesome. You're on there with a blindfold. Looks like I just rolled a grog. It's pretty great. I just rolled a grog. Yeah. Oh, and apparently the, 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 uh, the Storm King's Thunder minis just released today, so I have to go to Mill Nights tomorrow and spend away from my phone. Oh, oh, and the little grab bag boxes. Yeah. Those are from. I also got this awesome Keyleth, uh, uh, painted mug from, hang on, the letter is in here, hang on, give me a second, and I love coffee mugs, you can never have too many coffee mugs. By the way, you have 1.7k people watching you talk about coffee mugs. That's insane. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I really like coffee. Um, <laughs> Sean Marie, so thank you Sean Marie, and I think she sent um, some for others as well, so. And it says, she walks among the trees, and they call her their own. No. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah. It's gonna go. Uh, yeah, to answer a quick couple of questions, yes, I did crack my tooth. Uh, uh, while getting into Burning Man, I got it since fixed. It's just a temporary. It's like a like a, a composite enamel, I guess is what it's called. And I'll just have to get a new crown uh, at some point in the near future. Um, it's difficult to get major dental work done as a voice actor because any of that will basically prevent you from doing any work So you're losing money when you do it. So I'm planning probably towards the end of the year and the holidays to get that fixed um, But uh, yeah, all's good now, which is great. Yay um, However, I did uh, Gash my hand and get two stitches last Friday, which was fun um, yeah, it's been week yeah, man, I've, I've just been physically pummeled by karma recently. It's great. Um, but, uh, however, Mimer should did get our new tattoos. This is my first tattoo. Yay! And, uh, Marisha. Tattoo cherry pops! Yep, Marisha has hers there, her second tattoo. We both got matching elements there. Yay! And, uh, they're, um, uh, this is actually our art car from our camp at Burning Man. If you do like, a Google search for Sensitron 5000, and look at the images, you'll see a few of our, um, our art car. It looks like a big pyramid, multi-layered pyramid with like a big LED umbrella on top. It's hard to say, but, uh, but it was great. We had a great time at Burning Man. It was all the creative reset button I needed. And uh, 
Yeah, it was fun. Hello from Oregon. Am I going to be on Hot Pepper Gaming again? Maybe. I know Vernon uh, has Fucking been. Fucking Vern. He's. Again. Fucking asshole. <laughs> I can't believe him because he knows how easily swayed we are. That's why he does it. Yeah, I he know. He knows if he waits long enough, he'll get us back. The problem is, if we go back on again, we have to up the ante and, like, after dried ghost pepper doused in uh, jalapeno, uh, habanero sauce, like, I don't know where I'm going to go from there without dying. Anyway, this... Everyone appreciated your belch, by the way. Thank you. She can belch better than anyone I know. Like, Marisha continuously beats every dude I've ever met at belching. Myself, obviously included. It's true. Um, so this is from a company called Nord Games. They said that they're a, a big fan of our work, uh, Force Grey and uh, Critical Role. And I guess they ran a Kickstarter campaign here recently. And they make, enjoy a copy. It, okay, Ultimate NPCs, Skullduggery is a collection of 30 unique NPCs, all of whom have exciting tales and backstories, as well as new generic NPCs. Oh, so it's like an NPC card deck? It's or? like an NPC uh, 5e... Oh, that's pretty... Oh, no, I've seen this. I've actually... Kind of independent... Like... Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember seeing this at Game Empire in Pasadena. Oh, wow. It looks this like is a... really... I haven't looked well through it yet, done. but... It... I, I skimmed through it when oh, we were at the, we at the store, and it looked like a really, really awesome tool for gems. Oh, my God. And this is like, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Are right. you looking Some at it? Some people assume we have over 6,000. 6,000? That's insane. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what numbers are real anymore. I don't know what life is. Huh. This is from Chris Haskins cool. at. Thank you, Chris. Nord Games. Thank you, Chris at Nord Games. It has awesome. like these little NPCs, Game Master's toolbox. Like cards? Cards. Oh, yeah. character cards. That's pretty badass. Like, check it out. Like, are you looking at it? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you had a really bad day, J Miller One. Are you looking? Let's, let's pick it up, buddy. Thinking of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, this this actually looks like a really useful uh, tool set for for gems, new and old. And it's like really well made. It looks nice. It fits in nicely with the. I've never heard of Matthew Mercer. That guy's a tool bag. Yeah. That's really that's cool. cool. So, 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 Thanks, dude. Thanks, buddy. Nord Games. Ah, awesome. That is awesome. Thanks, dude. Oh, I don't know if I can do the uh, the weird drool trip pepper. <laughs> oh, the one I, that like psychs you out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that one. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, do when Ashley comes back, whenever Blind Spot decides to release her to us again. Okay, this is from. What we got over here? Jesse Bennett from Kansas City. Terrence the Terrasse is doing awesome. So over my mini shelf, thank you for that. Uh, any plans for any more live shows? Uh, occasionally, you know, the, the live shows are really fun experience. We had a great time doing it, but we don't. We wanted to make a special thing that happens rarely, um, part, partially because we, you know, we kind of like being in our private studio, and the more often you do it. Um, but it's a great way to go out and meet people and, and the energy is great. Uh, but it's just, it takes a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of, a lot of little intricate parts to make it work. So yeah, probably like a once every six months to once a year type thing, if anything, but we still plan to do them in the future. Just not too often. I think this is one of the... I'll pass this over to you then. Oh, 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 I almost dropped the phone. I'm good. There's I'm good. There, I'm good. All right. <clears throat> just, just, yeah. yeah I got go. a knife. Here, do you want... Oh, right. I just... have a knife. You have a knife? Uh, Let's see what this is. This is... I have a knife. Dramatic flare text. Uh, DM Mercer, I've greatly enjoyed watching DM and send this gift to you as I believe all D&D Pathfinder GMs need this. Enjoy Evil Lab. Okay, now I'm excited. Vox Machina, I apologize for what I've unleashed upon you all. I'm so, so very sorry. To all, I, I present you for this the door breaker. Okay, the <coughs> oh, no. I know what this is. Oh, a little personal letter. This is from GM Jesse Bennett. Uh, at, uh, just Kareem on Twitter. 
Uh, oh, let me make a thank you. Thank you, GM Jesse. That is fantastic. And if this is what I think it is. Um, I'm excited to open this. Hopefully not be too messy in doing so. Oh, no, get back in there now. No. We're not going to box. Suck it. I'll clean it later. Thank you. <laughs> this is... Aww, Liam's watching. Hi, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm opening something that's probably going to eat all you guys down the road. How exciting. I'm excited. Oh, oh it is pre-painted. I'm so excited. Oh, there's foam everywhere. There's a lot of packing here, but it's okay because it needs it. Because it's awesome. It's so, okay. Everyone's totally distracted by Liam's presence. <laughs> so that's Good. entertaining enough. Good. Distract him. Distract Liam. Yeah. May I <laughs> present to you... Jesus. They wrapped it like it's Ford Knox. Because it's a big creature that you don't want to be taking damage in transit there. Oh... <laughs> So, what? This is Trask. No, I know that. <laughs> that is a great paint I job. I figured too. that out. That is amazing. Look at that. It's, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh God! What does that mean? Sketch. I can sketch. No, go go away. Don't sketch in Paris. Go. No, I don't. Oh man. Okay. This is so. Fucking cool. Wow. Uh, mm. cool. Cool story, bro. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Over here, that's fantastic. That's fun. And I'm excited for that. And okay. Now, Mercy, you can pick one. I, I, I. You just pick that one? I pick, yeah. I pick one for you. Let's do. There we go. Two specifically for a Aww. There you go, love. Okay. Where's the knife? <laughs> there it is. Someone was asking if we had any like fun Burning Man stories, and I you know, well, literally cannot think of any in the moment. In the moment, uh, let's open another present. Think of a few. We'll give some fun stories. But I'm trying to think of something insane. You know, like like dildo jousting. That's something that you can just like be like, I dildo jousted, and you can say that in one word, and people like are like, oh, that's a good story. Or I've seen that movie. Or, I'm, <laughs> or was that late night on HBO? I don't yeah, know. yeah, exactly. How was the tattoo experience? Uh, yeah, it didn't, it didn't hurt that bad, actually. Um, 12, 12? We can't really be at 12K viewers, are we right now? That's crazy. I'm seeing 1.5 in the app, but maybe the app doesn't... Is the little skip up squirrel? <laughs> what, what is, is that? that? Oh, oh, it's a, it's a, uh, 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 quokka, quokka. Oh, oh, yeah, from Australia? I say it. Yeah, the really cute ones that people take selfies yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that are always smiling. It's one of those. Okay, that's really adorable, actually. That's pretty adorable. That's cute. <laughs> Who sent this? I don't know. Marisha, Marisha does indeed always look gorgeous and effortless. I agree. Just oh, the chat room. Don't, don't, I can't, I don't take compliments well. I know. This isn't it's in fun, my to, it's fun to watch you blush. I hate it. Just, you, you open something now. Now I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold the camera now. What? <laughs> now, now. Sorry. Uh, let's see. How do they know it's 12k total? It says 1.5k for us. I don't know. Maybe do. Oh, 12k total. Total views. 1.5. Concurrent. I see. Right. That's still pretty fucking crazy. Alright, this is Dear Critic Roll. My this... favorite is the people repeatedly asking who we are, which makes me wonder, like, 
how they got here to begin with. I don't. I I wake up most mornings not knowing who I am either. <laughs> Where I got here. Um, we're both voice actors in video games, and we play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet, and and life is good. It's okay. I don't. We don't need to explain ourselves to them. I know. Okay? We don't need to. I'm just trying to be helpful. You know. We don't need to justify ourselves. I'm not justifying. These people, I'm okay? trying to be helpful for you three people out there that are really confused. All right. You're just probably go. still very confused, but that's okay. This is okay. Dear Critical, this is the maker of the Crit Hat from episode 22. Which, as I came back from an absolutely another amazing year at Easter Seals Camp for Young Adults with Disabilities, I decided that I wanted to make another arts and crafts for you that made this funny craft. It's not as functional as a hat, but I hope you enjoy it. I call it the Be Quoter. <laughs> it's a beholder with quotes from the show on its eye stalks. That is actually really, really cute. I like the little teeth in it. It's got like little jagged teeth. It's awesome. <laughs> That's really, really cute. Dopey quoter. <laughs> Leave trinket. Scan and scry poop. Dagger, dagger, dagger. I'm going minxy. Oh, this is so cute. This year at camp was so extraordinarily amazing and you were a big part of why. They saw you wear the hat and plan an entire personal program of D&D entertainment for me before I arrived. Oh. That's way above their job description. Last year I played D&D three times. This year, every day, uh, one week, I met so many people wanting me to DM a session. Lots of new friends. That's awesome. Thank you so much yet again for showing how this little game can have a huge impact on someone's life. Also, as a side note, you guys rock for doing that muscular dystrophy charity event. Thank you so much for checking into it. So I have muscular dystrophy and was really moved by that. Take care, Ari K from Victoria, uh, British Columbia, Canada. PCF. Yes, I know you don't open gifts on air anymore. I'd love to hear if you like it. You can contact me on Twitter at, com at combo dude. Well, at combo dude or Ari, this is awesome. Thank you so much. This is going to go in my office. And uh, you guys can go let at combo dude know, also know how awesome he is for sending this. So, thank you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. It's a wonderful letter. Really, really sweet gift you made for me. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you online, buddy. Everyone is requesting Dagon, so I'm gonna go get Dagon. All right, all right. Can you take the phone? <laughs> Dagon's been pretty chill. I'll, I'll tell a story. I bring this. So much, it's hard to just pick one. Um, I know. Uh, my good. We did. We, an awesome guy with an accordion wrote it in our art car, kind of basically making an accordion soundtrack to everything that happened for a few hours. His name was Squeeze, and he was awesome. Um, let's see. There's... Oh, uh, our good friends Matt Key, who you've seen, who's a, uh, been a host on Signal Boost uh, recently, uh, and Paul Duraso, who I both met when I cast them as the leads in my old web series, There Will Be Brawl, where they played Mario and Luigi... Um, we found the old costumes and they fought in Thunderdome as Mario and Luigi and the video should be going up soon. We got a bunch of different uh, angles of it and it's fantastic. Oh, um, they beat the crap out of I each can other. totally publish that through Signal Boost. Oh yeah. I can totally put an oh, yeah. on their website through Signal Boost right now. Do it. Because I can do that. <laughs> Also, thank you everyone who is saying that you like Signal Boost and watch it. it thank you. Signal Boost is awesome. Because pretty much everyone will watch this girl for all. So whenever we're, anyone's like, Signal Boost, I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> you watch it, you you actually, you've, you've seen it. Uh, cool. It's man. her blood, sweat, and tears, man. Her, Eric, and Sean work really hard on that show. And uh, I'm really proud of what they're doing with that. If you haven't checked it out, I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. We're going to be doing even more Kooky stuff because... Um, because you have, can. We have less oversight now, so <laughs> we're going to go balls to the wall if we can. What do I think of Keelit's performance in the group last week? It was phenomenal. Once again, like, druids are amazing, and I'm glad that everyone got a chance to see her kind of really step up and shine and blow a bit. Blow a song we... Um, there's Dagon. Hi, Dagon. Everyone's been requesting you. <laughs> Say hi. Dagon is as cool as the sun tree. I agree. <laughs> beep beep from Ontario. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> Everyone's giving all their signal boost powers, which is awesome. Oh, thank you guys. You should watch it if you haven't. If anything, at least go click on the YouTube video and watch it for like 30 seconds so we get counted as a view. <laughs> because then they can make more. Then I don't give a shit if you watch it anymore. <laughs> No, that's not true. You should watch it because we do put a lot of time and effort into it. Yeah. You guys are fantastic. The team of three of us. Have we all checked out the Critical World podcast? There's a couple, and yeah, we've I've, I've checked out pretty much every episode. 
because um, I have a lot of free time when I'm traveling on the road, and it's kind of my, my thing to listen to in traffic, which is great. Um, all right, you pick one now. Well, this one says Matt, and it's also heavy. Is it a brick? Is it a brick? I hope it's a brick. Oh, ouch. Don't hurt yourself, no? So I'll get this one next, but you open the next one. It's okay. Awful designs. <laughs> Literally balls on walls rock that lack of oversight. <laughs> yes. Really excited about uh, Everyone's saying beep beep to Dagon. Dagon, say beep beep. Beep beep. Oh my god. Beep beep. Beep beep. So this pew does pew pew. We can teach her beep beep. Yeah. yeah. Hey buddy, say hi to the internet. She's like me. Someone's saying thanks for recommending me myself and why. Oh yeah. That's a great book. Oh, have you been reading it? Ah, oh, awesome. That's uh, one of my favorite books I've read in the past like five years easily. Great. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. This one here is rolled a druid because of you. Oh, you guys. You're being so sweet. Everyone's so nice. I'm glad. So, this is from Off World Designs. I don't know what or who or if that's the name of the company. Let's see. There's a letter. Is there a letter? There's a letter! Oh! Oh, we love you too. Customs. We got a, we got a coupon for custom screen printing and embroidery. Oh, nice! That's cool. I have to look into that. And we got post-its, which are actually always handy. This is true. To Matt, several times you have come so close to character kills in the show. Two strikes, especially with, especially with Vax. I saw this t-shirt and, in humor, thought it would be fitting. Sincerely, Eddie Chandler. For you, Matt. It's a grump, grumpy cat DM. Rocks fall, everyone dies. Good. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate that, bud. Dagon. <laughs> Dagon wants this shirt. Dagon does not like that shirt. Dagon is not a fan of the shirt. Dagon. Dagon. <laughs> Uh, you're such a tolerant bird. Isn't she, though? <laughs> uh, okay, you open that one. Oh, you edit the Critical Reroll podcast? That's awesome! You guys are fantastic. I love what you guys do. Um, do I spice? No, I don't spice. <laughs> Not anymore. My spicing days are over. Once you spice too hard, you can't go back. Uh... <laughs> oh, don't worry about being negative. Everyone has rough times in their life. I, I know I have my periods of time negativity. It's part of being a human. You just kind of let other people lift you up and support you, you know? Open package. Uh, open package. Open package. Okay. Open package. Oh, there you That's what I want in my life. What's happening? Usually I'm the one that messes up technology. This is kind of amazing. <laughs> it hates me right now. Just camera flip. Why is it doing this? Okay, okay, uh, okay, okay. We're good. Here we go. So this is from at doll underscore rev, it looks like. Uh, I can't really explain how much Critical Role means to me or how much you've inspired me creatively. I have these gifts for Vox Machina when they're pondering the perilous fates they're in inflatable god mercer has in store for them. I hope they find them useful or at least decorative. Since Matt will not eat such help, his gift is in the envelope. May you always roll 20s in dangerous times. Thank you, Ed Um And this is... This is amazing. This is a $50 donation to the Trevor Project. Oh. Um, if you aren't familiar with it, um, it's, it, it's a project that helps uh, people in their lives and uh, you know, life-affirming services for the LGBTQ uh, youth community, and it, it's an incredible uh, and, and wonderful group of people. And it, it's really cool that not only did you donate this, but their employer matched the donation, so it's actually a hundred dollar donation oh, that's awesome. in honor of Sean Gilmore. Oh, uh -huh. brilliant! Um, so, thank you so much for that. That that's incredible, and I'm very very honored. And thank you for supporting such a great cause. That's, that's tremendous. And since this, technically, the other half is a gift for Vox Machina, how about we flip this around and you open this picture, right? Well, the Periscope is being insane right now, so okay. don't do anything too complicated. I didn't. I just, turned, I just turned it around. 
Hamina. Yeah, here's the knife. There you go. Hamina, Hamina. Hamina, Hamina, Hamina. Giving your first game this weekend? Heck yeah, congrats! Yeah! You guys are gonna have fun. One of us. Get it more. Yes. Don't kill everybody. No. Okay. It's like. Wow! Oh, spite lot race over a thousand bucks? That's awesome, guys. Congrats. Okay, there's little packages for everybody, so I'm gonna go ahead and open mine. Okay, and we'll, we'll deliver the rest to everyone else. And they've got these awesome little charms on them. Those are like really, really Those cutely cool. packaged. I know. Got a little Celtic knot on mine, which is appropriate for druids. Star Platinum. Is that what you wanted? Good. You've been noticed, Red Dev. Uh, oh. Oh. What? This is awesome. What is it? I wonder if. If people got similar things. What is it? I don't, it's the Druidcraft tarot deck. What? What the fuck? That's amazing. That's fucking awesome. That's really, really cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That's really rad. You see the cover? I wonder if everybody else got Tarot Actually, ironically, that vacuum does suck. We gotta get it fixed. So you were funny and completely right about it. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I'm curious to see what everyone else got now. Yeah. I feel bad opening their presents though. <gasps> no, we got, let them open it. Let them have the joy of opening their presents. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you're you're amazing. You're allowed to destroy joy. And I'm also allowed to say no. They must open their own presents. <laughs> their joy, I will not rob from them. Okay. Oh, I'll pick one. I'll buy that. Okay, go for it. All right. You're better at answering questions. I get overwhelmed by so many. I don't know where to start. Questions. Uh, Grant's on outspicing the meat man. Man, that was so much fun. I did, I did not say anything about it being a drug. It was purely just a spice from home that Jarrett wanted, and he ran with it. And of course, of course, if a foreigner walks into the middle of a city and uh, seems gullible and, and misinformed that some folks are gonna take advantage of that and they did and they dragged them all the way on and it was amazing <laughs> oh, it, was, it worked out perfectly that rarely happens for me <laughs> oh, are you doing, doing for the first time too that's awesome have you seen the plushy appa yet yeah I've seen it she won't let me touch it <laughs> but I understand that's a funny joke <laughs> Aww. Hey, I understand. Our, our ping for an introvert isn't easy. You ask Marisha. Marisha's that hard an introvert, uh, more so than most of us, the cast, too. And they can't just poop at me again, because a bird. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, around. bird. No, I should have. At least from this paper here. <laughs> oh. There you go. I got the poop. We're good. And being oh, oh, oh. here, notice Senpai sees you. Oh my god, Matt. <laughs> what? Just keep asking okay, I'll keep doing questions while she figures this out. Okay. Why the haircut? Because my hair is getting too shaggy and sometimes you need a little change for a little bit. Is there a way to deepen your voice? Uh, practice. Practice, singing practice. Um, there are a lot of things just over time. For some people, it's drinking a lot of scotch and smoking cigars is not my thing. I just. Just practiced doing things, and you know, doing deeper voices and singing low, and just you know, over time, learn how to use the structure and open the throat and let things get more uh, dark and low. But yeah. Uh, Shaggy Mad is best to watch be evil. Yeah, probably. Shaved head, Matt? No. The day I have my head shaved, I, I lose all my power and die. Oh my God. Um. Is the house come all remodeling? Almost. <laughs> we got so busy over the summer and with the campaign guide consuming most of my free time, uh, it kind of came to a halt, but we're hoping to pick it up again and finish most of it before the end of the year. Oh. Um, let's see. I haven't read the Blue Moon Mising book, so okay, that's good. Oh no, Marisha, Marisha, Marisha's laughter worries me. What are, you, what are you laughing about? So this is from Stuart Barton. Stuart. Who hails from the land down under, from Australia, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> um, 
he wrote the letter in character, which is amazing. Um, my name is Manaya Bortron. Bortron? Yeah. But people call me Manny. I am a humble winemaking monk from the land of Ocelia, a land far south down under the map. But even so, <laughs> tales of your exploits have reached our shores. My brethren and I tend to the vineyards that surround our monastery. We're not training for physical perfection and inner peace. We sell our wines to the surrounding villages and towns to provide ourselves with income and supplies. Recently, times have been hard since a dragon came and raised our crops as well as damage to the surrounding villages. Fortunately, it left as soon as it came. We fell it, we fell it, uh, we felt, I think that was a typo, we felt it had something to do with the rumored Vox Machina, a band of legendary friends that were taking care of great dragon menace. Our crops have regrown and we are venturing out of the surrounding towns we build as a token of our appreciation. Please accept the first fruits of our vineyard in which we have named in honor of your exploits. I'm excited. Are you excited, Diego? I'm excited. Find yourself in the land of Australia. Feel free to find us and say good day. Peace, prosperity, and glory to you, Manaya Manny Bortron. P.S. Remember, striking first is good, but striking, but sorry, let me start that over because this is like fucking finish your line. Remember, striking first is good, but striking last is better. I like it. Um, and. He sent us a box of Shiraz what? <laughs> called Dragon's Blood. That's awesome! From the Jim, Jim Tree Viner. No shit, that's yeah. amazing! He saw Shiraz! Guess what we're having tonight? Shiraz? Yeah. We're having that right fucking now! <laughs> that's an amazing gift. Thank you so much! That's so cool, check that out. Yeah. Dragon's blood. This is the drink. It'll get you fucked up. It's an eight, which means one for each of us, right? Technically, yeah. Well, we can share one now, and we'll save one for later for a special occasion. I'm grabbing it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so I'm gonna drink them all now. The rest can stay in the box. Okay, fair enough. Else. <laughs> Perfect. So I just wanted to make sure I could take another one. Hey, I ain't, I ain't judging. Um, that's amazing. Thank you, Stuart. And someone said, remember to talk into the glass. I will. <laughs> I'm very good at Shiraz speaking. She well, is. I'm a wine speaker. You're, you are the Shiraz speaker, yeah. yeah. I'm a wine speaker. So. <laughs> that's amazing. As well. That's awesome. Ah, ah. What's the big one? I'm so excited. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, dude. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and open this next one here. Oh, we're, we're 1.8k now. Jesus. Hi, everyone who just showed up. Um, let's see. I have a, a uh, an envelope here. And it looks like Shelby Fawn. To, uh, to my dearest Mercer, Sam, Ashley, Towson, Marisha, Liam, Laura, Travis, and the whole Geek and Center crew. There aren't enough words to say thank you for what you give us critters each week, but maybe, uh, maybe felt can get closer. Inside is something not great for rolling, but pretty good for a hug when rolls make things tense. It's hand soap with a lot of love, occasional watching. Also inside is a quick session. Oh, this is the person who sent the dice. Oh, there we go. Okay, that okay, makes sense. Okay, okay. I told it's you hands to with, figure it out. Also inside is a quick sketch with me and my characters who have come to life thanks to inspiration. Uh, thank you, Shelby uh, Mongan. Uh, Shelby, thank you so much, both the dice and she did it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she did a sketch of her character. Oh, that's so awesome! That's her with her, or her with, with her character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually really, that's really awesome. adorable. Check that out. That's such a good idea. That's okay. That's adorable. Thank you so much, Shelby. That's right. Ah. And the, the the dice is awesome. It's gonna it's staying on our couch with our other like critical world pillows we've gotten. And then I have. A letter here uh, from John Garrett, which is wax sealed. This here. Hold on. Open it. Pardon the movement. Right, there you go. All right. So, hi. This is Jerry Matthew. At Gen Con, you were stopped by a large man thanking you for making his wife's birthday special. You were so very generous with your time and came and spent a few minutes with us. I know you 
Comma's filled with thousands of people and interactions, and I don't expect to remember the encounter. I do, actually, because uh, I like anyone who, who specifically tells me that somehow Dungeons and Dragons has made the right birthday. I'm, I'm happy to be in that conversation. However, right, I'll just let you know the results of the five or so minutes you gave us. First, she has gushed about Gen Con. It's big a fan of yours. She had a magical experience that you were a huge part of. Aww. Sweet. Second, uh, by coming over to visit you, you created a hero. You made me into a hero in the eyes of the woman I love so very much. I don't have words to describe it. Don't misunderstand. I know she loves me, but I gotta become her hero that day. I can't thank you enough. But no, if I can be of assistance to you anyway, you only need to let me know how I can be of service. If you're in uh, Dayton, Cincinnati area, you'll always have a place to stay and meals available. <laughs> I can even get you in a game as a player. Oh, that's awesome, thank you. Uh, my offer is sincere. I know you have access to Best of California. Oh, <laughs> California has its largely mediocre stuff, mostly as well. Uh, I know the grass is greener and all that, but... the best, it's just the bar is lower. This is true, this is true. We have, we have the best, but the bar is lower, I like that. Um, I've been doing sound work for 15 years and have been making short films for a few years now. It's awesome. I'm also very big. I don't know that is a skill, but it's at your service. You should ever have a need. My most sincere thanks to you. Rock on, John Garrett. John, that is amazing. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. And I'm so glad you guys had the opportunity for us to talk uh, at Gen Con. And uh, good on you for being a hero for your lady because uh, that is amazing. And congrats to you guys for being awesome together. That's really sweet. And Risha is making use of the gift. Oh, I can see why they call it dragon's blood. It's really dark. Is it good? Is it smoky? What's it? What's the verdict? Ooh. Oh. It's like a little twangy. Alright. It's drier. It's good. Why is, like, why is the glass? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're like double fist in the glass. I haven't gotten there yet. I'm just teasing you. It's a funny visual. Let's try it. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That is good. That is very good, actually. <laughs> you want to open something now? Can I open them now? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like I want to drink it. That's what I say. All right. <laughs> Have a good night, Jubilees. Bye, bye, Jubilee. Right, what'd you say? Okay. Oh, this person. This person. What? It's from Kentucky. Well, you gotta open that. And it's addressed to me. Well, then you you probably really should open that one. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. It's probably probably for you. <laughs> uh, this is from Mark Bell. Mark Bell. What up? From Louisville. Represent <laughs> my hometown. Look at that cute girl. Is Keyless tolerance to alcohol based on you or probably not? Oh no, Marisha can drink a lot of guys under the table. That's true. In fact, that was my trick in college. It's like a whole sideshow act. It was great. <laughs> it's actually a pill, not a package. They got you. That's funny. <laughs> God damn it, that speeding ticket from 07. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> So I owe you guys a lot because me and my, fi my fiance bonded over Critical Role. It's awesome! Yay, it's for Jackie! Okay. All right, what you got in there? <laughs> Hi, I'm Risha. Hi. Mark. This game makes me think of Keyleth, so I thought I would send it to you. Don't let the haters get you down. Aww, don't worry, they don't. I just hate that they get a free pass sometimes. Since we don't. <laughs> um, don't let the haters get you down. I hope you have fun with it. I think we're from around the same place. 
We are. I would have totally played some D&D with you back in the day. Oh, although I was probably in my late 20s, early 30s when you were in high school. That might have been weird. No, I've, actually, I've always had older friends because I grew up in Kentucky. <laughs> uh, um, Mark Bell at Coronob64 and he sent Mystic Veil, oh, a card crafting game of nature's powers. What? That's and great. It, look at the staff on the front. Oh, slick. Oh, that art looks awesome. I it's feel like, like I've seen this before. Yeah. That's cool. It's, it's like a crafting system game. That's really neat. That's interesting. This is awesome. Fuck yeah, man. We're always looking for new games for, for game night. So this is great. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. And tell everyone at home that I said hello and and that I miss them. People have, have taken yeah. to the uh, Matisha. I still prefer Marishat. Marishat, I think, is, is, is the funnier of the two, definitely. <laughs> People who are, I say that, and people are like, no, because then that sounds like shit. And I'm like, eh, uh-huh. That's, you got it. You did it. You want to hand another? Yeah, I have to. Yeah, I've, if, unfortunately, Geek and Center doesn't handle the shipping. The company that, that ships them out handles it. Um, we usually don't have a huge problem, but if you do have any posters that come through damage, just let them know and send them back, and we'll get a replacement to you, because that's, that's not supposed to happen, and I'm, I'm sorry that happened on your end. Uh, I wish I could help more than that, but uh, yeah, just send it back and we'll get it replaced. Uh, Joe, what's in here? What's in here? What's in this one for you? This is from Doc Nevin. Doc Nevin from Texas. <laughs> Mystic Fail is Will Wheaton's spirit animal. <laughs> I have a little more of that one. This. Is from a lot of stuff he doesn't want to read on okay. air. Okay. Well, cool. Um, Was this the one that sent But it's the like book? an odd. No, no, no. This is an audio book. Oh, slick. By yes. <laughs> Handled it's... by Mark Smokin. That's funny. Private stuff. Okay. So, well, who's, who's it from again? For from... us. This is from Doc Nevin. Doc Nevin. Or Doc Nevin. Doc Nevin. Daniel Nolan D. Daniel, you're awesome. Whatever. Thank you so much, Daniel. We got it. Thank you. This looks like a really incredible letter. Yeah, we're going re to read it after the Periscope. Yes. So, thank you so much. But confirmation, it has been received. It is, on a, it is in our hands. <laughs> when we're releasing the campaign setting, we're currently shooting for the spring. Um, we still Books have... take a long time to write, yo. Yeah, a long time to write, and then art assets, and then editing, and formatting, and everything. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a process. Here, you take the phone. Which one I'm getting now? This one here? Yep. Okay. If Dagon was a dragon, what color would she be? Hmm. Dagon would be color would you be? Hey bird. Hey cuddles. Me my cuddles. Oh, you cuddling. Bronze. You cuddling. Yeah, me cuddles. You bronze. Dagon should be bronze. bronze. You know better than I. Definitely metallic. She's a good bird. She is a But she's got some spice to her. She can be kind of a dick here and there. <laughs> so, uh, we'll go bronze. Packing peanuts. I'll have packing peanuts forever. Fantasy flight in here. Whoa, what? Someone got us the new match axe. Oh my god, the new match. Is that the, that's the new one? The new one, yes, the one we even got. Oh shit. We actually got two copies of this at Gen Con that we gave to friends. because we Well, wanted... I gave to my crew because my crew is underpaid and deserves all the perks that they can get. Exactly. So I gave it to my Signal Boost crew. Exactly. So yeah, uh, we, so we, this we is we awesome. Have a copy for ourselves. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This is. Mention of Madness, by the way, is like Fuck yeah, this our longtime favorite board game, and they've for the new edition they've made it even easier to get into for folks. And uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I hear it's really really good. Wow. 
This is. Yeah, they um, we actually boosted it on Signal Boost yeah. in Matt Key's episode. Check awesome. it out. Yeah, we own all the expansions of the old edition and everything, but they have rules where you can go ahead and actually convert the older uh, supplement the older stuff, yeah. to the edition, which I'm so happy about. Yeah, and you can play, it like comes with an iOS app, and you can play, yeah. so you don't have to. I don't to, have to be the keeper the whole time. You be a keeper the whole time. I can time. actually play with you guys now, yeah. as opposed to always being the keeper. Hi, Matt. I was hoping to get this to you before you heard that the second edition existed. I heard about it, but I didn't get my own copy yet, so you, you still won. I realized it was too late when I watched the Boost earlier today. I hope you didn't already get a copy. Of it. If you did, oh, then I'm you have to oh. get something to do with it. You got it. You got it. You, that's you, you awesome. Succeeded. No, that's perfect. Yeah. Because yeah, I gave I gave the copy that we got through Fantasy Flight to to Eric, my writer, because he didn't have a copy. So yep. it was perfect. I'm a big fan of Critical Role. I was there watching on the first night, and I've never missed an episode. You guys got oh, me wow. to subscribe, and you were making the push to get over a thousand subscribers. Oh, you've been around for a while. That's awesome. I see all the amazing gifts the critters send you guys, and I feel lame because I don't have the kind of talent. Don't, don't, don't feel lame by any means. I mean, the fact that you just watch and support the show is amazing enough, and this is absolutely a kingly gift, and I'm so appreciative. Um, I made a whole birthday party years ago based around Into the Madness, so you should know how much I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I've been told that while standing in a different room with your eyes half closed, that the figures I paint don't look too bad, so I thought this would be a chance to do something neat. I didn't varnish. Did you paint the minis in here? Wait, did they paint the minis? Shut hold the on, fuck hold on, up. Hold on. So I thought this would be a chance to do something neat. I didn't varnish them just in case you wanted to fix them. Oh up. my so god! Something here. So from Mark Ball at Chronop64. This is what we tried to do with our old edition and we failed to actually do it. We failed to actually it. do it, yeah. Mark, this is amazing. Wow. Oh my god, this is even better. Ah. I think. Hold on. I need to open it. Ah, stuff. Go, go, go. Oh. This one has the dope Cthulhu statue in it. Or mini, whatever. Straight up painted. Look at that. Oh. That is fantastic. That is awesome. Red eyes. Shut the fuck up. This is so good. Yeah, I painted all the actual character minis and have them in a little awesome organized plastic mini holder in here. Look at this. Ah! All the cultists and. Mark. This is awesome. Mark. Uh, for the people asking about New York Comic Con, we have no word yet on that. If anything comes through, we promise you, we'll you will be the first on ones that. to know. We're, one way or another, we're going to get back out to the East Coast, you guys. Yeah. Um, but we're, we're, we'll see if New York Comic Con works out. Mark, that's amazing. Thank you so much. That, uh, there's something cool about having your own painted minis. There's something even more amazing about having painted minis that somebody else... It is like a gift, like that yeah, is much more special such, to me that's to play. That's so awesome. Ah. You guys! Guess what we're playing this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Oh, man. Oh, man! People are also asking about MAGFest. MAGFest, I'm... It's a good, it's a good chance I think we may be at MAGFest. Hint, hint, wink, hint, wink, 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 wink. No confirmations, you didn't hear it from us, so shut no. the fuck up. Yeah. Kona silence, y'all. MagFest is the, like one of the best events ever, and I love it so much. Um, we missed last year because they moved in February and I already had a con book that weekend. It's usually in January. It's like, no, but I think, I think we'll be going this year. So I uh, hope, hope to see you guys there. Um, let's see, do we have anything else here? This, this looks like a good building, yeah. This is, oh, it's got little sketches of all the characters. And Gilmore was awesome. Greetings, Critical Role Cast. I was introduced to your show at the end of June and have since marathoned through most of it. Probably all my time. Any, uh, anyone reading this? Uh, you're all such skilled actors and storytellers. I love it. Mercer especially deserves all the praise for his glorious NPCs and how he never railroads. I can only imagine the amount of work he has done that went unused in the end. Uh, because the party <laughs> went somewhere else instead. <laughs> uh, it's, it's worth it. And uh, I can always retool things later. Anyway, I know you all love to hear about charity work in my critters, so I wanted to share something a little different. A group at my church. These groups are common around the country, actually. Crochet and knit shawls and lap blankets to give out to people who are grieving, sick, or otherwise suffering. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's amazing. Uh, these are time-consuming projects, but the love and joy they give uh, makes them worth it. I love the ministry, but I have a hard time focusing long enough to actually finish much. However, Binging Critical Role can be entertained in my hands free, so I finished three shawls this month because of you all. That's awesome. I may never get to watch the show live because our meetings are Thursday evening as well. Uh, say love you. Uh, but I still wanted to show my support. You're probably wondering what this about the squares I included. They're actually small washcloths I made. Naturally, these are awesome. These little 
plush cloths that were like handmade by him. That's so cool. This has a V and M in it. The Rocks Machina. Two needle knit. Uh, I want to give you a gift that both represented my work and would be useful. The yarn is 100% cotton, so actually very good for washing your face, cleaning the sink, or absorbing spilled coffee. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, this is also an attempt to educate Sam, who has mixed up knitting and crocheting on multiple occasions during Christmas. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, hopefully the label stayed on during transit. It's going to be more confusing. Actually labeled which ones. This one's knitted, and this one's crocheted <laughs> to make sure Sam knows. That is so funny. <laughs> that's amazing. I know, I know. It's a pretty silly gift. Uh, I think it's awesome. I was well into the project before I really stopped to think if it would be funny or anyone else at me. No, it's, it's really appreciated. Whoever wants them, keep them. Hopefully they can be useful as cleaning supplies at the very least. And then let the event, if multiple people want them, I'm willing to send more. I know you aren't doing Christmas on stream anymore, so I added my Tumblr email so you can reach me. All the hugs, Maple. Aw, thanks, Maple. Maplestarscribbles.tumblr.com. Um, I feel like I've... <laughs> Take off, just... Take off, biting on. <laughs> Found her cage though. <laughs> Time to clip her wings. <laughs> that was impressive. <laughs> we went straight to her cage. We gotta get, we gotta get her clip. Uh, but it did awesome artwork of the whole party and oh, Gilmore. Awesome. Oh, really cute! Sweet. That's awesome. That's so cool. Thank you, Maple. That's so sweet. Probably gonna keep the VM for our own personal use. Yeah, I like both of those. Those are cute. Yeah. I'm Here, hold this for a second. Crochet. We'll we'll see who fights over it. Is it moving it? There you go. Oh, sore. Oh, I'm just still flying. Oh, no, you can use a crochet. No, we probably shouldn't. <laughs> Let me turn this around. Um, I think. Well, do we have any other. Did you see this the little critters night before Christmas thing? Yeah, thank you. I haven't seen this before. Someone did a. Uh, they did like a custom take on this book cover. Is the whole book? Did you read I it? Think they just read the cover. Just read the cover. That's really cute. That's really cute. Hold on. Right. Marcia, do you think Keyleth has moved past the doubt of her powers and her abilities yet? I mean, I think she'll kind of. I mean, like, look, people will get better and learn. I think people learn to like deal with their insecurities and their problems and necessarily like fully ever get over them. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's sure in real life. I think you just kind of get better at dealing with them. Yeah. But they don't necessarily 100% always go away. So she's always going to deal with like, you know, feeling like she doesn't, I think she's getting much better at knowing her own strengths and knowing, um, when to utilize powers in which situations. Yeah. And and I've definitely been trying to progress her in terms of getting better in social so confidence and social yes yeah, so confidence and social situations and um, it's shown she she's grown quite a lot in, in recent episodes too which is yeah. fun to watch yeah because it was like hard to actively think in those beginning days like she would tank this right now time to botch it yeah. like you had I had to like actively think sometimes about those things yeah. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I think she'll she'll never fully like I don't know if she'll ever fully trust herself or fully feel like she's not, you know, doing more harm than good necessarily. But I think right. she, she's definitely, you know, I've I've also tried to like convey that she's um, even though she doesn't like it and she, it doesn't feel good and she still gets really upset anytime a casually a casualty of war happens. She's accepting that this is a time of war and this shit's going to happen. Right. So she's always going, if there's ever a situation where it's, you know, where we might be able to save, even if it's like one extra person over a plan, then she will, she'll always take that plan. But she's more accepting that sometimes there is no way to save everyone yeah you 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 get in the ring with muhammad ali like you're gonna get fucking hit you know so muhammad I, I ali by the way is challenge rating 32. yeah definitely yeah, yeah. he's he's ascended into godhood yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah i mean i think she's slowly i think it took her a while to realize that 
she's made that choice and made that like life commitment to put herself out there and essentially like like any of us could die at any time so we're all kind of like taking a life sacrifice yeah whether it happens now or 10 years from now or maybe we'll get lucky and maybe we'll die all peacefully and happy and like you know in our own little towns quietly in our bed probably not because it's D&D but <laughs> I think it took her a while to accept that if she can make that sacrifice of her life ahead of time that that's what other people are doing on the other side. Right. So. Cool. That was a good answer. Uh, let's see. Let's see the question. <laughs> Hashtag Marishat. Hard, 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 hard. <laughs> We've done it. We made it a thing. Yes, Marishat for life. Yes. Uh, is there anything uh, here that we haven't opened yet? I think this, so. I think, this, uh, I think that's. I think that that's all the stuff we have to open Christmas wise. Uh, right now, we have other gifts that would interest the casts of them, whether or not to be able to open them on their respective periscopes or, or in private, that's up to them. But uh, we wanted to at least come in and chat with you guys for a little bit. Um, let's see. You here to eat my dragon? That's a way to go. If you're going to go, go big, I guess. <laughs> um, thank you for uh, help, helping you propose to your DM. Hell yeah, and congrats, guys. That's fantastic. Yeah. Marisha MVP. That's rad. Yo. Um, let's see. Do uh, someone ask if, if Vox Machina would they take over merchant jobs and retire? I mean, who whoever survives the whole campaign. I've talked about this a little bit. You know, I kind of want I want to do like a probably an epilogue episode where everyone kind of discusses about what what their yeah. what their sunset story is, and then we'll probably take mm -hmm. take a brief time off, and then when we start a new campaign, I might do it twenty years later. And all the new characters will, will be living in a world that is affected 20 years later after the actions of Vox Machina and things that have transpired because of it. And all the old characters that survived may end up being NPCs in the world at some point. You know, it's, gonna be, it's a lot of fun possibilities I can play with at that time. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes when we finish this campaign. Um, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Good night, Marishat. <laughs> I love that this is a thing now. Yes. Uh... Oh, J Jaman's a great character. Uh, they're they were a lot of fun to uh, to, to develop and uh, and reveal, I guess, when they got there. I was I was afraid they weren't going to go ahead and come across uh, Jaman, but the party did, and they got to to kind of have a cool character introduction, and and they made an alliance, which which could have gone many different ways depending on how that conversation went. Um, are you inspired by Bioware's VO? You, you went and joined uh, or submitted to Bioware's VO contest? That's awesome. Well done. Um, let's see. Favorite NPC to voice? Anything that's easy to voice. <laughs> I, actually, I actually really enjoy... I enjoy Kima's attitude a lot. She's a fun one to voice, partially because she's just, just she's stepping into her shoes. She's, she's, she kind of reminds me of you, Marisha, a little bit. Like, not Kila, but Marisha. She's just kind of this kind of like, don't cross me, badass, which is kind of great. Um, I really enjoy, and Gilmore is always a blast. He's great. Um, recently in Marquette, I really enjoyed Treve. Treve was fun. The Dragonborn, the head yeah. of the, of the uh, Scarlet Rose, you see. We'll do a few more questions here, and I think we're going to go ahead and get to bed. I still have to finish preparing for tomorrow's game. Um, let's see. A couple here. If you guys have any lingering questions. Who's your favorite NPC you haven't introduced? You'll find out, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see. Victor's fun. Like D and D games work like a Tarantino movie, like. Yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> what is this NPC? What is he gonna do right. later? We <laughs> find out his purpose <laughs> at the end of the game. Let's see. Um. Any thoughts on who has Vex's heart? I don't know. I guess we'll we'll see if any if that ever comes to fruition. The play, players kind of build their own thing, and uh, sometimes they fill me in, sometimes they don't surprise me, and it's kind of fun. Players gonna play. Players gonna play. Um, did Ripley have an advantage on those wisdom saving throws? Maybe. I know, it's uh, frustrating, isn't it, chat right? Now? <laughs> now, 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 now you know how it feels. Now you know how it fucking feels. Go hell. I feel you, man. <laughs> uh, 
Go hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, boyfriend's name is Jared. That's great. Awesome. Jared, Jared's a fun one. Uh, let's see. Marisha, who's your favorite NPC? Because, like, I feel like we've had a falling out, and now we're, like, bros. We're, like, we came out better because of it. So, I do like Kima. Um, your creepy dude here recently. That was pretty fun. <laughs> he was a weird one. How about your cool, your creeper guy? He was pretty fun, yeah. Uh, what I was his name? Uh, I told the notes again. Uh, it was Kime. Kime. Kime, yeah. Kime. Uh, that was fun. I'm surprised I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, you picked up the the, the, the creeper video, the uh, the little one immediately. I was like, yeah, kind of basically. Yeah, do the creep. <laughs> um, let's see. My show class and your new update like you did for Blood Hunter? Maybe, when time allows. The campaign guide's kind of devouring me right now, but uh, I update when I can. The Blood Hunter's pretty much done now. I've Got a lot of great feedback, like pretty much almost a year of playtesting from people, and uh, uh, I'm pretty happy with its current state, which is good. Let's see. Uh, is the camera's still on me. That's awful. Camera's still on you. Oh, jeez. Sorry. I'll turn it around. <laughs> Someone says they, they love our lost Appa poster. Oh, yeah, my lost Appa poster. Right over still there. Still need actually. There you go, back to the front. One day we'll fully move on. One day we'll have furniture in this room. One of these days. We'll work on it eventually. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because you keep asking. It's high noon. Oh, gee. It always oh, happens. Come it on. always happens. It's okay. Man. Did I ready? Don't give me that snuggle. Help me, costume. <laughs> Marissa's considering being a McCree for Halloween, and that would be disturbing. Not many like levels. Ben McCree, like McCree. Like beard and everything, like which ben I can McCree. I can respect that. <laughs> How I come up with the names of the vestiges of divergence? Um, made them up. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just thought of you know different uh, different words that worked well within the theme of what they were. It sounded cool. That were interesting and that weren't used in existing stuff that I know of at least. Um, and if you ever stumped, thesaurus.com is your friend. Uh, it is an I amazing love website. I love this is that comment so good. Um, uh, is is Vaxleth ever weird on stream? Not. The good thing is when you're all actors and you all kind of respect each other, and you know, you can you can go to that place and, and play it for the narrative aspect of it, and it's it's fun to explore that from a performer standpoint. Um, so no, not at all. Let's see. Where can critters find your PO box for Christmas stuff? If you do a Google search for Critters Guide to Christmas, we posted the PO box information on that a year ago around Christmas time. It should be on there, um, so or you can check you that can out. Or you manage to find it in the, the hell that is the Geek in the hell that is the Geek website. website. Yeah, that, 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 the blast furnace of yeah. of design that is that website. Um, all right, we'll do a couple more questions here. Let's see. What's your favorite melee weapon? This is, there's a spear. Super nice. Spear is pretty rad. Morning Star! Marisha says Morning Star. Uh, Very which is kind of rad. Uh, in D&D &D world, like Morning Star. Yeah, Morning Star. In I, real life, I mean, staff. Yeah, you definitely want a staff player. Staff. Or anything, but, but Morning Star is a good choice. Morning Star is a fun I probably go War Pick, because it also feels underappreciated. And I've always, like, something has always been really awful to me. It's one thing to, like, bash a creature and destroy it or cut a creature. It's another to jam a hooked pick end into their skull and then having to like wedge it out. I think it's just horrible and awesome. Yeah. Um, so probably war pick. Uh, A26LA mentions. Yes, we're still supporting A26LA. It's when you do 60 episodes, there's only so much you can keep pushing the same things where people probably get sick of it. So we try and put it in every now and then. Um, yeah, but there's still like our like. Yeah, there's, there's still our, we still accept the donations and send them off to them. They're a big supporter of the yeah. show and uh, they still do amazing work. We saw them do the, the, the Target ad campaign recently and it was just the really Target cool. Target ad campaign, they're doing like their, like, I know 826 LA is doing like a dance competition on Saturday, October the 15th. Um, there might be stuff. Check out the website. About it. Check out their website. They asked if we could be there, but it's the same night of. Mary's birthday. It's Mary's birthday. Yeah. We are all gonna be there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. That'll happen. Yeah. 
Sad for the lightning javelin. Yeah, but you know. Oh, I was gonna try and I had a plan. I had a plan. I mean, we just, you like once again it's D and D. Like we will think of thirty things that might be cool. To what, do. what was your plan? Um, I was like, oh, cool. I was like, Vax and I need like a cool buddy cop thing, and Vax's thing is kind of like pranking other people, and so I was like, ah, oh, I could use, but I had to sleep because I didn't have my locate object spell learned. Mm -hmm. That's the curse of. Being a druid, so you have to learn all your shit ahead of time. So I didn't have locate object because honestly, that doesn't come up, come often. up often. Yeah, unless it's like specific. So I didn't have it in my in my cache, and uh, so I was like, okay, well, if we stay the night in Marquette, which I kind of figured we were in Alcarel, I thought we were we figured we'd still be staying the night. I could learn it. Vax and I could go get it, and then I was gonna have him stealth and like slip it in Grog's room, like, next to his bed. While he's sleeping. While he's sleeping, or, like, <laughs> put it in really his funny. bed. Because Grog <laughs> would just assume that it's, like, a haunted weapon. That would be or pretty funny, Or he would, actually. like, freak out. So I really wanted to see Grog panic by slipping the staff back in his room. That's really funny. In the middle of the night. <laughs> like a monkey paw staff. Right, you know? right. Um, or monkey ball javelin. But... Then so we hopped an airship to and piece the fuck out. And, and made into an awesome chase yeah. sequence. Which and then is you beautiful. can't really, once again, man friends. Yeah, yeah. God laughs. God laughs. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, well, one more. Uh, do you guys ever rewatch episodes and critique your performances? Well, we used to back in the day when, when the show was first getting started. We were all very self conscious about it and like, oh God. Well, that and it was still a new show. And like, I think it's, I mean, we still check in because we want to. It's quality control. Too. It's quality. Well, we want to make sure that it's coming across okay. Yeah, we want to see, you know, what it looks like. Um, I want to say critique our performances. Everyone, like, we're still just playing the game. I was looking at like formatting and mics. Yeah, and, yeah. Like mic spikes and yeah, audio, was audio going, like, issues we're trying mode. to fix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I go into produ producer mode every time, and, like, try and figure out ways we can always ever present, make it better, which we always try to do because you know we. And we've been able to, thanks to, the, been able to, thanks yeah. to like, the subscriber count, the, the support right. for the show. We, we want to show that the subscriber Su know, support, support isn't just fucking piss in the wind. You yeah. know, we want to show that we are actually going utilizing back it and putting it back into the show, which it has. We've been able to upgrade all the mics. We've been able to upgrade cameras. We've been able to upgrade lights. We got like the awesome... I don't know if you guys noticed. There's a lot of subtle things that happen that I don't know... Like they would like we have the hue lights that light up the back of the set. So like when we were in the fire plane, Matt was able to set them to red to make it like the whole background kind of red. And if it gets like nighttime, you set them to like blues and purples. Yeah. So there's like a lot of stuff that we try to do to invest back into the show. We want to continue doing that, which is why we started experimenting with like the 360 cams. And like I don't know, yeah, it's just we're, like we're just, yeah, we're trying to think. We're just trying to think of ways to ever. Be, the experience without ruining the heart of what it is. So, mm -hmm. anyway, once again, having Shiraz. So I'm She's having Shiraz. Totally <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, and the long and short of that was no, we don't really watch ourselves that often anymore, except to critique performance yeah. <laughs> or, 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 or show shit. I mean, yeah. yeah to, to, anyway, to, whatever. to laugh at usually what Sam said last episode. Usually laugh at what Sam said. Um. Let's see. I think we're out of questions. I think everyone's good. Do you guys ever hang out outside of Critical Role? As best as we can. We're all busy people, but we're, we make a concerted effort to hang out every now and then, either individually or as a group sometimes, um, when time allows. Because we have, like, Liam and Sam have kids. Um, and yeah, Generally, the one day a week that they get from Critical Role tends to be their, like, day a week that they get <laughs> as time. Yeah. So uh, it kind of goes to family time. That's a good last question. Um, what's my favorite spell? It's hard to pick one. Um, from a DM standpoint, wish, because there's just oh, so easily to mess with the player if they're not careful. Um, but uh, there's not being able to really pick one. I'd say I, I love, I love, I love illusion spells and I love uh, spells that affect the mind. 
when, like modify memory when sam finally took that i was so happy that's one of my favorite spells in fifth edition oh, yeah. from a role-playing standpoint modify memory is there's so much room for saving so many bad situations in in, in the game you know the, the the moment that all of a sudden the king of the country that trusts you walks in and finds you murdered you know his chancellor but uh you saw nothing you had a great bath goodbye you know <laughs> what could have been you all being now chased by the guards never happened as far as they know yeah. or in fact you put the memory in there that he watched uh this guy you hate who works down in the kitchen did the murder and now he's you know like there's so many great things you could do with modify memory yeah. to save your ass and it just mess with the world it's wonderful i love that spell yeah. i hope it gets more use um uh i think that's it i think i think we gotta get some, i gotta work finish working the campaign we're trying to get yeah, some sleep got it, got it right. yeah i have gotta work on signal boost stuff because we're we're trying to do more fun stuff yeah you guys should go watch it because damien poitier who is thanos and also chains in payday which everyone has pointed out to us repeatedly um <laughs> Is our host right now, and he's amazing, like Good Mr. People. Charming and Mr. Congeniality. Six five hilarious. buff and such a awesome geek. Yeah, my favorite. We got so many questions in the promo that we did. That was Damien and Eric and me, because Damien is six five, and I think Eric is six four. So half of the questions were like. Cool promo. How fucking tall are those guys? Because I always <laughs> thought Marisha was kind of taller. And they're like really tall. I'm like, yeah, they're tall. They're tall. Um, but yeah, it's good stuff. But yeah, you should watch it so we don't get canceled. <laughs> there you have it. Say goodnight, Marisha. Bye. I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow night. Yeah. It's almost Thursday. It's almost Thursday. We'll see you guys it's tomorrow night. Most places it is Thursday. Exactly. We're last. Indeed. Well, tomorrow we'll be seeing you guys around this time. So yeah. have a wonderful night. Rest well. And uh, it's almost Thursday yet. <laughs> awesome. Have a good night, guys. I can just make an effort to do this properly. Which I can't. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> ever. Bear swipe so down to stop. And then I swipe down. <laughs> But now Paris, see Paris comes now fighting with the new update. I know, no, I know. I